Long ago, when there was no smartphones and all were keypad phones, we knew a term GPRS. Yes, I'm pretty sure you must have heard that at least if you have been in those years. So, hey there, this is Shan, and I'm going to tell you how GPRS works in just two minutes. Before the arrival of GPRS, we had GSM. You can either way say, GPRS is the modified version of GSM because it's very much of it. The more basic function of GPRS is to transfer data wirelessly, which in earlier modifications was not that good and efficient. But in GPRS or General Packets Radio Service, there is a lot different story. General Packets Radio Service works by allowing data to be stored into packets. This data is then transmitted in an efficient manner across the mobile network. GPRS, however, is much faster than the cellular network systems. This type of networking system can be used worldwide without any difficulty. GPRS devices are extremely versatile. These devices allow the owner to use it for many different things. Any device that has GPRS capability will allow the user to have not only mobile communication but also access to the internet for such things such as email and internet browsing. Such devices even have the ability to act as a means of communication between two individuals. This is done by keeping one part of the device with each party. You can even adjust various settings on the device in order to keep track of things like changes in temperature, sound and motion. GPS devices also have the ability to further its functionality by allowing the user to add on things like cameras and GPS receivers. We ain't gonna take a lot but in a most common sense, the data which connects the internet and the world is delivered in packets. So until the next amazing video, keep hitting your blind spot.